Dusk is one of the most beautiful times to see Sydney and there's probably no better vantage point than from the top of the Harbour Bridge. Nicknamed the Coat Hanger, the bridge dates back to 1932 and is one of Australia's most spectacular engineering feats. You can drive, walk or cycle over the Harbour Bridge, but at twilight, climbing up to the peak, 134 metres above the water, will give you the view of a lifetime. It's definitely not to be missed on your visit to the Harbour City. So just one more semi-final to come and it's uh, men's doubles, two unseeded pairs and two new pairs as far as men's doubles is concerned and on opposite sides of the net is the Olympic champion and the former Olympic champion because we have Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan of China up against Tendra Setiawan and Tambu Hyong. Well, as far as the Super Series standings are concerned, after their win last week in Indonesia, Lee Chun Kuei and Yu Yu Chen uh, swapped places uh, with uh, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. The beaten finalists last week went up four places. That's Boa Mogensen went up to number four. And four of the top five pairs have been in a Super Series final this year. The only exception being the number three on that list, Kamora and Sonoda. And Kamora and Sonoda are one of the pairs in the semi-finals here at the Australian Open. In fact, they're the only seeds left in at semi-final stage. We only had two seeds left in at quarter-final stage and the two seeds played against each other in the bottom half of the draw there. And Kamora and Sonoda coming through that to play against Lu Qing Yao and Yang Po Han in the bottom half of the draw. But uh, we will be concentrating on the top half of the draw. Two unseeded pairs. And two pairs that are promising so much. One of the pairs, a mixed nationality combination. But here is the Chinese pair of Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. The men in red are the mixed nationality pair. The left-handed Tan Boon Hyong from Malaysia and the former world and Olympic champion. Endra Setiawan, I say former world and Olympic champion, of course he is reigning world champion at the moment because he won the world title two years ago in Jakarta with uh, Mohamed Hassan. Okay. Red. Uh, but China considering he has won so it? gold at the world championships China with deserve. Marcus Kido Deceiver? and yeah. two golds okay. with Mohamed Hassan. He is both reigning and former world champion. Well, for the mixed nationality pair, yesterday was their first ever quarter-final at a Super Series event, so obviously today is their first semi-final. For the Chinese combination, Liu Chen, who's 25 years of age, born in Samhung City in western Fujian province. He has played two finals here at the Australian Open in both men's doubles and mixed doubles and both two years ago. Zhang Nan is the reigning Olympic champion in men's doubles with Fu Haifang. And they've just gone into the top ten. Having been in the semi-final last week in Indonesia, went up five places in the world ranking on Thursday. And they've been pushed the full distance twice on their way through to today's semi-final. The only match that didn't go the full distance was against the seeded opposition. Their teammates, the number seven seeds, Wang Kai Siang and Wang Ilu. So if you were with us yesterday, you would have enjoyed that quarterfinal against Ong and Tio. Here is Hendra Setiawan, 32 years of age now, and former world number one. Former world number one with two different partners, Marcus Guido and with uh, Mohamed Hassan. His partner, the left-handed Tamboon Hyong, 29 years of age. 
They went up four places in the world ranking this week, 230. And interestingly enough, they played against each other in the second round here last year. The Malaysian and the Indonesian, and it was the Malaysian that won a year ago. But as you can see, they've been very impressive so far in this year's tournament. Both Hendra Setiawan and Tambun Hyong competing as independent players and hence the ability to mix nationalities as we look at our court officials for this one. And when you consider that the two pairs have played each other once before, and it was Setiawan and Tambun Hyong that won at the quarterfinal stage of the China Masters Grand Prix Gold earlier this year. Three games it was, 51 minutes for those three games in Changzhou. Ready, the gentlemen. On my right, Bu Hen Tam, Henry Setiawan, Malaysia. And on my left, Lei Chen, Shannan, China. Shannon to serve to Bu Hen Tam. Level. Play. Now oh. oh, that's an ominous start. Savvy Silver. Nan. One look. Oh. 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 Well, as far as Setia one and Tambun oh. Hyong are concerned. It may be their first Super Series semi-finals a pair, uh, but they've been in 44 Super Series finals between them with previous partners and won 26 Super Series titles between them. Both former world number ones with previous partners and both been in world championship finals. Not surprising they've got potential steam. No, it's, um, it's two very, very strong two, individual players uh, that has um, decided to try their luck together. these relatively new pairings have reached a Super Series tournament final. And one of them's going to rewrite their own record Savvy books. Silver, two, five. It's a fourth semi-final for Lu Cheng and Zhang Nan as a pair. And they're three previous. Semi-finals, all at premier five. events. China Open last year, and then the All England and Indonesia this year. Oh, missed it. in men's doubles than we've just witnessed in the women's doubles. Yeah. And especially this match here with uh, Tan and uh, Sechuan. I don't think they'll be going for long rallies. 
No luck Side is over. You don't miss uh, combination. Six, five. Service over, six, all. Oh. I was a little surprised that it was Tan and Sechuan who won the uh, previous uh, encounter in China Masters, but um, they must have um, a good read on the Chinese. Tournament the China Masters coming on the back of uh, three Super Series tournaments. Yeah. Um, this tournament here, Jiang Nan hasn't been playing mixed doubles. Concentrated on, on men's doubles because his partner in, uh, in mixed was um, either ill or, or injured. Had to withdraw from Indonesia and didn't trip here to Australia. Great rally though. Savi Silver, 7 6. Service over, 10-7. Uh, it's going to be a match where Liu Chang is going to be um, challenged in his um, game reading skills. The ability to choose the right action in the, the moment. Because there's no doubt that both Tan and, uh, and Hendra Secho are, are very good at that. That's long. Sabi Silver, uh, eight, ten. I see him as the most inexperienced men's doubles player in the chunk. Sabi Silver, eleven, eight, interval. So a three point advantage for Hendra City One and Tan Boon Fion. Eight minutes. 
Dia harus main juga. Kadang-kadang boleh buka dulu dia sebab dia tak keluar. Dia tunggu juga lah. Tadi kena satu. Dan dia sangat sana lah. Dia dia tak dia berdiri tu pun sikit lah. Ada satu bola. Ada satu bola. 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 Satu
for so he's only 29. 12, but uh, 16. it's been a long while since he's um, challenged for um, for titles in, in Super Series. So in that way, it's good to see him back with uh, Sergio in here. Yeah, I concur. Yeah, that's nice. Such such a lot of talent. When, when so he hurt on the world scene, the cooking kit probably 12. had the hardest smash in the world. Very, very good defense. The defense helps him here, but I mean, they can't play a defensive style, Sechiman and, and uh, Tempo Young, because Sechiman's defense simply won't hold up. Sabisover. So they have to be 13, attacking 17. and trying to create opportunities. sort of angled smash that he was known for when he was world number one. Yeah. Kuki and Kiat. Both angle and uh, power. Yeah. Nineteen, thirteen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Had another chance later on when he was paired with uh, Gobi Shim. And that had the potential also to be a very, very good pair in my opinion, but um, didn't materialize. He decided to play independently with the uh, cooking kit again, reunited with him after uh, Kit uh, originally return, uh, uh, retired from badminton, tried to qualify for the Olympics. Game trying to opportunity. Turned the opening game in just 16 minutes. 21 15. You saw that? I said, 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 I said,
Well, yesterday in the quarterfinal, this Chinese combination didn't start as well as I had expected them to start. Second game. Love it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. That's what's Play. important. Oh. to do it to target the smashes that Hendra Sichuan uh, has never really played a style where, where defense was important when he was playing with Marcus Kido. Um, they were relying on their very, very strong offense and the same um, goes for his partnership with uh, Mohamed Hassan. of Hendra Setia one. Extremely Sorry, good. Look at that. One, Turned the two. whole momentum of the rally. Yeah, and, and um, outside the picture, Jang Nan is just looking up at the big screen here in the hall, trying to recap what happened actually in, in that rally here. Oh. Got to try Sorry, and increase Sarah. the pace, the Three. Chinese pair. Give um, the two very experienced um, players in red too much time to make decisions. They will make good decisions. Oh, good man shot. opinion the problem in this rally occurs because Liu Chang he um, uses too much power the first time he get a smashing Three. opportunity it's not really a big opportunity it's um it's a tease from um, the Indonesian Malaysian pair that if he what? applies power he's getting counter-attacked and he's got to be extremely careful in that One. He was very effective, Three. and as so often, he's in the right place at the right time. His yeah. anticipation is just extraordinary. Yeah, fantastic service oh. return. Think back to Fu Haifang Jang Nan, who won the Olympic title this year. The smashes from Fu Haifang, they would have been steeper. Yeah. And that would have given Jang Nan better work uh, conditions on the front court. And much more opportunities. Yes. If Liu Chang wants to sort of um, uh, maintain the attack instead of going for the win, then he should play a drop shot towards um, Tan Bung Hyung because he will probably lift again. Service over, ball six. And I always used to get a little frustrated when Tan Boon Hyung was playing with Kuki and Kiat, the amount they were just content to lift and yeah. defend. Yeah. I thought they were so good at the attacking play. I didn't understand why they were so happy 
for so long just to defend. I know you have to be able to in men's doubles in all oh. disciplines in badminton, but it's also the attacking play Sorry, that makes summer. the difference. Yeah, I, I thought that uh, uh, quite early in their careers, they, uh, they simply fell out of shape. Um, they didn't have the stamina to uh, attack what was needed, especially when the Koreans emerged on the scene with uh, Lee Yong Dae, uh, first in the mixed doubles in 2008 when he won the Olympic title and then sort of made his presence felt uh, later on in men's doubles. Um, they didn't have the, um, the will to um, compete with that defense, uh, the Malaysians, and, and they sort of uh, fell out of uh, the one, two, three ranked pairs uh, with, with some occasions of um, brilliance mixed in that. Um, what year was it they were in the World Championship final? Um, 2000 and. 10 Paris. Yeah. Just long. Lost to Fu and Kai. That's the um, occasion, right? Eight. That's correct. Five. They'd been bronze medalists the year before in Hyderabad. Yeah. Return. Service over. Tumbling net shot. Nine, six. Force the error. A five point advantage for the Chinese pair of Liu Cheng and Jiang Nan in the second game. saying something about defensive work there, whether they should be keeping an eye on their opponents or whether they should be crouching down lower themselves 11, in their defensive stance. Play. Oh, great. 
his angle again. Good. Thirteen, seven. Next thing is there from the Chinese player, both covering the front court. Oh, that's clever, clever playing from oh. Seti Wan. Eight, thirteen. I don't know uh, with Liu Chang. I mean. It seems like he, he's not aware of where he should be on, on the court and he should, of course, be uh, with the side of, of Zheng Nan because there's no way in the Whoa. world that uh, Sechuan is lifting. He's only okay. lifting when it's Eight. impossible to do anything else. Taste for each pair. Oh. 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 Great shot. Oh, you won't see better than that. And that's what they're really good at. Um, Set you on them, time Ten. to to get the game going uh, in areas where they are strong. I mean, when you're at the net, you never look back because it's first of all because you lose uh, sight of where your opponents are, but also it's, it's really, really dangerous. Yeah, Again, eye injuries are uh, not that uncommon. You've got to be able to sense where your partner is and what kind of shot he's capable of making whilst looking at your opponent.
But again today they've come back nicely. Jang and uh, Liu after losing the first. occurred to me there, Steen. I'm in danger of being awfully harsh here, but Liu Cheng not even aware of where his partner was when he was looking forward no. and playing from the back. That real hesitation ah. there. And, and um, yeah, I agree with you, Joe. And, and, but uh, we are probably sounding really, really harsh. Um, but that's what we see. Yeah, yeah, that's what we see on court. 14. Yeah, and when you're talking about semi-final Super Series events, this is the elite tier of tournaments. It's these little differences that make a huge impact on the match. Yeah. And then that's his second service error. Tambu Hyun. But it is challenging uh, for especially in my opinion Liu, wow. but um, perhaps also Chang Nan, that the Indonesian-Malaysian pair is, is really, really good at uh, sort of taking all pace out of the game. Wow. So you don't really get into a rhythm when the opponent hits 20, his own uh, shoes point, in 14. the smash. The rally just finishes before you, you get any feel of it, and, and then the next rally, the opponent hits the winner. Yeah. Wow. Game point opportunities here for Liu Cheng and Jiang Nan. Yeah, hey. they convert 21 14. Second and game it's the first by game that Seti Yuan and Tan Bun Hyong have 14. lost all tournament. One game all. One game all. Well, they came from behind yesterday in their quarter-final, did Liu Cheng and Zhang Neng. Well, they're going to do so again here in the semi-final. All comes down to this final game. Final game! Level! Play! Oh. 
Oh, that's too flat. Yeah, it's gone well long. One lock. Body language of Tan Boon Hyong looking a bit better now in the deciding yeah. game. Yeah. Oh dear, that's disappointing. Well, that's a third service error as far as City One and Tan Boon Hyong are concerned. Missed it. Silver, three, two. Launching some good services, uh, Jang Lan. Last two or three that I've looked at has been uh, directed exactly at the point where it's very, very easy to uh, anticipate where the return is going to come. It's been aiming the spot between the backhand and the forehand return, so that uh, it will come in the forehand side of. Um, New Chang if it's a back if it's a forehand return and the other side if it's a backhand return. So, so you can oh. anticipate the yes. third shot. When when you see how the opponent is approaching the uh, service shot, you know which side to cover. Defensive shots, Liu Cheng. Spring's gone, I think it is right <laughs> yeah. here.
on that one, the last shot from Liu Cheng. Service over, six, seven. Yes, and in fact, they didn't hit his, uh, it as hard as he can hit it. Gave Seti a one nothing to feed off. Nothing. Oh. Every time he hits it hard, <laughs> they're in trouble immediately after the Chinese pair. Why are the patients of Jung Nan? I really do. Good coverage by uh, Sito. One from Tambu Kyong. Six. And then look at that anticipation from Setia One. Oh, Took uh, that after it had gone past him. Yeah, and, and kept it inside. There was a huge chance that it would have gone uh, wide. Challenge. She might have Shandland gotten it right. Challenges. The linesman. Ball out. But um, definitely worth a challenge. Mm, out. Challenge unsuccessful. So it's a four point advantage for Hendra Satyawan and Tam Boon Hyong. Sabisola, 11 7 interval, changes. So you book up Sinia, so Bagus. Color Lepas Atana, you let up the panda. There must be two. You turn up, you must order the Tazu, the Kanda, Sablakanga, Saskan, Tahan, 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 the line. Well, seven. Uh, one of the situations where 
These first um, rallies after the uh, interval very often are decisive. Two. Service over. Eight. Twelve. Seems like both pairs prefer to play to the near side here. Sitio and Tan. A reasonably good lead, but not something that uh, can't be uh, changed. That's a wonderful interception from the left handed Tan Bu Hyong. Look at this. Off balance, but still plays the winner. Soon, Liu and Zhang, if they want to win this match. impression that Tan Boon Hyong is trying to be a little too clever Ten, for his own good. 13. This one. Yeah. Actually played himself into trouble. And trying to be extra deceptive. Yeah, and, and giving away pace from below the tape. Yeah, there we are. a missed opportunity for City one. Yeah, that, that's the way he plays and that was the way he played with uh, Hassan as well. It was like taking these uh, opportunities where he had uh, 55 winning percentage over the opponents and it wasn't uncommon for them to win a game 21-19. Gonna go long at the back 15, line. Well. I mean, we've seen in a number of matches where we've seen the umpire has been extremely strict about this: uh, don't delay the game and play on, and so on. But we haven't heard anything here. So if you start. Oh. Walking around like Service you could go to still picture 13, all the time. Then 15. nobody says anything because it takes so long time in between the the rallies here when um, Tan and, and Sechuan are serving. Yeah, well taken. Question so what Liu Cheng was trying to achieve <laughs> with that one. Service over 16 13. Service over, 
Going wide. And real frustration there from Jan Nan. You very rarely see him react like that. Silver, Yelling at himself after 14. the rally. Celebrations from Tan Boon Hyong. Mustn't celebrate too Ready soon. Silver, 18, 15. And he certainly enjoyed that one. from Sitzer and sets up the smash opportunity for uh, Tan Boon Hyung. 19, 15. Two points away from the first ever Super Series tournament final within this partnership. That's good on both from Jang Nan. Savi Sober, 16, 19. Match point opportunities. in a first ever Super Series tournament final together. 44 previous finals between them, but the first tomorrow as a pair. Two minutes shy of the hour mark. And 
the two players who have each won a gold medal at the Asian Games. Indra Setiawan and Tamboon Hyong. Careful, careful. Are through to the final. There we go. 21-15, 14-21, 21-17 in the deciding game. So what a semi-finals day it's been here in Sydney. It all started with Srikanth Kadambi creating his own little bit of history today because he's through to a third consecutive Super Series tournament final winner, of course, last week in Indonesia, beating Shi Uchi in two straight games. Then uh, mixed doubles and Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto have gone at least one better than last year. They lost in the semi-final stage a year ago, but they have a chance tomorrow to win the title. They beat uh, Kim and Kim in two straight games. Akane Yamaguchi, the number three seed from Japan, beat the world number one, Tai Su Ying, and played quite magnificently uh, to win in just 37 minutes, two straight games. Our last two semi-finals of the day went the full distance, and what a thriller the women's doubles was. The Olympic silver medalists, Yule and Tedesen from Denmark. Well, they had three match point opportunities in that second game. It went the full distance and eventually converted in an hour and 24 minutes. It was a wonderful women's doubles. And as we've just seen in the men's doubles, Hendra Setiawan and Tan Boon Hyong, the mixed nationality pair, have rolled back the years. They've both won Super Series titles in the past, but with different partners. And they have beaten the Chinese pair of Liu Cheng and Jiang Nan. So it's finals tomorrow. It's the same time as today. That's one o'clock in the afternoon. That's 0300 GMT. In the meantime, from all of us here in Sydney, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.
one. These relatively new pairings have reached a Super Series tournament final. And one of them is going to rewrite their own record books. Seven, two, five. It's the fourth semi-final for Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan as a pair. And they have three previous. Semi-finals, all the premier events. China Open last year, and then the All England and Indonesia this year. Oh, Mister. in men's doubles than we've just witnessed in the women's doubles. Yeah. And especially this match here with uh, Tan and uh, Sichuan. I don't think they'll be going for long rallies. No longer do miss uh, combination. I was a little surprised that it was Tan and Sechuan who won the uh, previous uh, encounter in China Masters. But, um, they must have um, a good read on the Chinese. A difficult tournament, the China Masters coming on the back of uh, three Super Series tournaments. Yeah. Um, tournament here, Jiang Nan hasn't been playing mixed doubles, concentrated on, on men's doubles because his partner in, uh, in mixed was um, either ill or, or injured, had to withdraw from Indonesia and didn't trip here to Australia. Great rally though. Savi Summer. Oh! 
Miss Silver. Ten, seven. I think it's going to be a match where Liu Chang is going to be um, challenged in his um, game reading skills, the ability to choose the right action in the, the moment. Because there's no doubt that both Tan and uh, and Hendra are, are very good at that. Just long. Sabi Silver, eight, ten. I see him as the most inexperienced men's doubles player in the chunk. Sabi Silver, eleven, eight, interval. So a three point advantage for Hendra City One and Tan Boon Fion. Contested a world championship final, but the two Chinese players, it's mixed doubles they've contested. In fact, they played against each other in the final in Jakarta. 12 8. So, I think your theory about Liu Cheng being the least experienced men's doubles player here is very, very solid. Sichuan won World Championship in 2007 when it was actually Tan Pong Hyung and uh, Cooking Kid who was the favourite to uh, take the title. In home soil in Malaysia. Yes, that's right. Using a lot of power in his smashes, Tempo and Young. On purpose, not using full power on the yeah, overhead? I, I think so. I, 14, I, don't think, um, 10. I don't think he's um, in um, that good. Uh, physical shape so that he can just fire smashes away and I think he's he's more or less um, taking the role as a playmaker and trying to set it up for him to set you one who's uh, extremely good on the front court how the Chinese I would do everything quick to switch them around and and then I would chase Tambon Hong a bit more on the back court playing him from side to side um,
there's a huge difference in my opinion on what the two players in red what they have achieved in their career um, there's a challenge Shannon challenges wow. call no, it was out. A, that it was, was a mile out wasn't yeah, it it was it was what are they challenging that for That's ridiculous. My nurse, would you challenge, challenge that? Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge liberated. Sorry, Steen, I interrupted you there. 15, yeah, 10, um, maybe play. That was why the Chinese they challenged. <laughs> no, I was about to um, to say that I feel that Henry Sichuan, he can look uh, back on his career 11, and say uh, that 15. he did really, really well. Olympic gold medal, three oh. world championships. Um, Fantastic career. On the other hand, uh, so far, Tempong Jong is um, he's had the best opportunities 16, in my opinion. He hasn't really um, um, taken care of his talent in, in a good way, the way I've seen it so far. But he's only 29, 12, but um, it's been a long while since he's. Um, Challenged for um, for titles in, in Super Series, so in that way, it's good to see him back with the uh, Setia in here. Yeah, I concur. Yeah, that's nice. Such such a lot of time. When, when you hurt on the world scene, the cooking kit probably had the hardest smash in the world. Very very good defense. The defense helps him here, but I mean they can't play a defensive style Setia and, and, and uh, Tempo Young because Setia defense simply won't hold up. So they have to 13, be attacking 17. and trying to create opportunities. sort of angled smash that he was known for when he was world number one. Yeah. Kuki and Kiat. Both angle and uh, power. Yeah. Nineteen, thirteen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Had another chance later on when he was paired with uh, Gobi Shim. And that had the potential also to be a very, very good pair in my opinion, but... Um, didn't materialize. He decided to play independently with the uh, cooking kit again, reunited with him after uh, Kit uh, originally retired uh, uh, retire from badminton, tried to qualify for the Olympics. Game trying to opportunity. Turned the opening game in just 16 minutes. 21 15. Yusuf, I don't know. 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 I don't know
tolak lagi tempat di sini aja. Jaga. Janganlah di sini. Ada nak ada tolak saya saja. Saya. Tak ada tekan tengah. Tak ada tekan saya ada saya tekan sikit dah sekarang. Okay, kita tengok dulu. Tadi dia tak tekan langsung. Okay, so kita di sini yang macam-macam itu jangan ambil. Well, yesterday in the quarterfinal, this Chinese combination didn't start as well as I had expected them to start. Second game. Level. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. That's what's Wait. important. Oh. to do it to target the smashes that Hindu such one uh, has never really played a style where, where defense was important when he was playing with Marcus Kido um, they were relying on their very very strong offense and the same um, goes for his partnership with uh, Mohammed Hassan of Hendra Rasetia one extremely good look at that one turn the two. whole momentum of the rally yeah and, and um Clever play from oh, Seti Owen. Eight, thirteen. No, I, I don't know uh, with Liu Chang. I mean, it seems like he, he's not aware of where he should be on on the court, and he oh. should, of course, be uh, with the side of of Jiang Nan because there's no way in the Whoa. world that uh, Seti Owen is lifting. Sabi so Silver. He's only 14, lifting when it's eight. impossible to do anything else. Sarah. That's one apiece for each pair. Such an intent to 
to get the game going uh, in areas where they are strong. Back, Liu Chang. I mean, when you're at the net, you never look back because it's first of all because you lose uh, sight of where your opponents are, but also it's it's really really dangerous. Yeah, to get eye injuries uh, not that uncommon. You got to be able to sense where your partner is and what kind of shot he's capable of making whilst looking at your opponent. But again today they've come back nicely. Jang and uh, Liu after losing the first. occurred to me there, Steen. I'm in danger of being awfully harsh here, but Liu Cheng not even aware of where his partner was when he was looking forward no. and playing from the back. That real hesitation ah. there. And, and um, yeah, I agree with you, Joel. And, and, but uh, we are probably sounding really, really harsh. Um, but that's what we see. Yeah, that's what we see on court. 14. Yeah, and when you're talking about semi-final Super Series events, this is the elite tier of tournaments. It's these little differences that make a huge impact on the match. Yeah. And then that's his second service error. Tambu Hyun. But it is challenging uh, for, especially in my opinion, Liu, wow. but um, perhaps also Chang Nan, that the Indonesian Malaysian pair is, is really, really good at uh, sort of taking all pace out of the game. Wow. So you don't really get into a rhythm when the opponent hits his own uh, shoes in the smash. The rally just finishes before you, you get any feel of it, and, and then the next rally, the opponent hits the winner. Yeah. Real game point opportunities here for Liu Cheng and Jiang Nan. Yeah, they convert 21 14. 
it's the first game that Seti Yuan and Tanbun Hyong have lost all tournament. One game all. Well, they came from behind yesterday in their quarter-final, did Lu Cheng and Zhang Neng. Well, they're going to do so again here in the semi-final. All comes down to this. is one of the most beautiful times to see Sydney and there's probably no better vantage point than from the top of the Harbour Bridge. Nicknamed the Coat Hanger, the bridge dates back to 1932 and is one of Australia's most spectacular engineering feats. You can drive, walk or cycle over the Harbour Bridge, but at twilight, climbing up to the peak, 134 metres above the water, will give you the view of a lifetime. It's definitely not to be missed on your visit to the Harbour City. So just one more semi-final to come and it's uh, men's doubles, two unseeded pairs and two new pairs as far as men's doubles is concerned and on opposite sides of the net is the Olympic champion and the former Olympic champion because we have Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan of China are up against Tendra Setiawan and Tambu Hyong. Well, as far as the Super Series standings are concerned, after their win last week in Indonesia, Li Jun Kuei and Liu Yu Chen have swapped places uh, with uh, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. The beaten finalists last week went up four places. That's Boa Mogensen went up to number four. And four of the top five pairs have been in a Super Series final this year. The only exception being the number three on that list, Kamora and Sonoda. And Kamora and Sonoda are one of the pairs in the semi-finals here at the Australian Open. In fact, they're the only seeds left in at semi-final stage. We only had two seeds left in at quarter-final stage and the two seeds played against each other in the bottom half of the draw there. And 
Yang Kimura and Sonoda coming through. That's a play against Lu King Yao and Yang Po Han in the bottom half of the draw. But uh, we will be concentrating on the top half of the draw. Two unseeded pairs. And two pairs that are promising so much. One of the pairs. A mixed nationality combination. But here is the Chinese pair of Liu Cheng and Jiang Nan. The men in red are the mixed nationality pair. The left-handed Tan Boon Hyong from Malaysia and the former World and Olympic champion Endra Seti. When I say former World and Olympic champion, of course, he is reigning world champion at the moment because he won the world title two years ago in Jakarta with uh, Mohamed Hassan. Okay. Malaysia red. Uh, but China considering red. he has won China deserve. gold no. at the World Championships China with deserve. Marcus Kido. And yeah. two okay. golds with Mohamed Hassan. He is both reigning and former world champion. Well, for the mixed nationality pair, yesterday was their first ever quarterfinal at a Super Series event, so obviously today is their first semi-final. For the Chinese combination, Liu Cheng, who's 25 years of age, born in Samhung City in western Fujian province. He has played two finals here at the Australian Open in both men's doubles and mixed doubles, and both two years ago. Zhang Nan is the reigning Olympic champion in men's doubles with Fu Haifang. And they've just gone into the top ten, having been in the semi-final last week in Indonesia, went up five places in the world ranking on Thursday. And they've been pushed the full distance twice on their way through to today's semi-final. The only match that didn't go the full distance was against the seeded opposition. Their teammates, the number seven seeds, Wang Kai Siang and Wang Yi Lu. So if you were with us yesterday, you would have enjoyed that quarterfinal against Ong and Tio. Here is Hendra Setiawan, 32 years of age now, and former world number one. Former world number one with two different partners, Marcus Guido and with uh, Mohamed Hassan. His partner, the left-handed Tamboon Hyong, 29 years of age. They went up four places in the world ranking this week, 230. And interestingly enough, they played against each other in the second round here last year. The Malaysian and the Indonesian, it was the Malaysian that won a year ago. But as you can see, they've been very impressive so far in this year's tournament. Both Hendra Setiawan and Tambun Hyong competing as independent players and hence the ability to mix nationalities as we look at our court officials for this one. And when you consider that the two pairs have played each other once before, and it was Setiawan and Tambun Hyong that won at the quarterfinal stage of the China Masters Grand Prix gold earlier this year. Three games it was, 51 minutes for those three games in Changzhou. Ready, the gentlemen. On my right. Gu Hen Tam, Henry Setiawan, Malaysia. <laughs> and on my left, Lei Chen, Shan Nan, China. <laughs> Shan Nan to serve to Gu Hen Tam, Labor. An ominous start. Sabi Silver. Nan. One look. Oh. 
Tabi well, Sola. As far as Setia One and Tan Boon Hyong are concerned, it may be their first Super Series semi final as a pair, uh, but they've been in 44 Super Series finals between them with previous partners and won 26 Super Series titles between them. Both former world number ones with previous partners. And both been in World Championship finals. Not surprising they've got potential, Steen. No, it's, um, it's two very, very strong two, individual players. Uh, that has um, decided to try their luck together. Outside the picture, Jang Nan is just looking up at the big screen here in the hall, trying to recap what happened actually in, in that rally here. Got to try and increase the pace, the Chinese pair. That'll give um, the two very experienced um, players in red too much time to make decisions, they will make good decisions. Oh, good man shot. In my opinion, the problem in this rally occurs because Liu Chang, he um, uses too much power the Hello. first time he get a smashing Three. opportunity, it's not really a big opportunity. It's um, it's a tease from um, the Indonesian Malaysian pair that if he what? applies power, he's getting counter attacked, and he's got to be extremely careful in that. Hello. Sabi Silver, four. Cleanest of hits from Setia One. He was very effective. Three, and as four. so often, he's in the right place at the right time. His yeah. anticipation is just extraordinary. Yeah, fantastic service oh. return. Think back to Fu Haifang Jan Nan, who won the Olympic title this year. The smashes from Fu Haifang, they would have been steeper. Yeah. And that would have given Jan Nan better work uh, conditions on the front court. And much more opportunities. Yes. If Liu Chang wants to sort of um, uh, maintain the attack instead of going for the win, then he should play a drop shot towards um, Tan Bung Hyung because he will probably lift again. Savvy Silver, ball six. Yeah, I always used to get a little frustrated when Tan Boon Hyung was playing with Kuki and Kyat, the amount they were just content to lift and yeah. defend. Yeah. I thought they were so good at the attacking play. I didn't understand why they were so happy for so long just to defend. I know you have to be able to in men's doubles in all Whoa. disciplines in badminton, but it's also the attacking play Sorry, that summer. makes the difference. Yeah, I, I thought that uh, uh, quite early in their careers, they, uh, they simply uh, fell out of shape. Um, they didn't have the stamina to uh, attack what was needed, especially when the Koreans emerged on the scene with uh, Lee Yong-dae, uh, first in the mixed doubles in 2008 when he won the Olympic title, and then 
sort of made his presence felt uh, later on in men's doubles. Um, they didn't have the um, the will to um, compete with that defense, uh, the Malaysians, and, and they sort of uh, fell out of uh, the one, two, three rank pairs um, with, with some occasions of um, brilliance Seven. mixed in that. Um, what year was it they were in the World Championship final? Um, 2000 and 10 Paris. Yeah. Just long. Lost to Fu and Kai. That's the location, right? That's correct. And they'd been bronze medalists the year before in Hyderabad. Yeah. Good return. Over. Tumbling net shot. Nine, six. Force the error. It's a five-point advantage Level for the Chinese pair of the new Chen and Jiang Nan in the second game. saying something about defensive work there, whether they should be keeping an eye on their opponents or whether they should be crouching down lower themselves in their defensive stance. Service over, 7-11. 